In this video we're going to go over the analyzer scripts that come with the BFF. So we've had our image magic fuzzing run going for a while now, so we've got gotten a lot of crash output. And now we can run a few of these analyzer scripts on them. You'll find them in the mount HGFS fuzz analyzers folder, or that will be C fuzz analyzers on your host machine. And the first one we have is the BFF stats script. And this just shows the unique crash ID for all the crashes we found in this run. It has the count for the number of times we've seen the crash in this run, then the first seed that we saw it, and the last seed that we saw that crash. And then it has the bitwise and the bitewise hamming distance. So this is just the, the difference between the minimal file and the seed file. Then we have get EIP script. Again, this shows all the unique crash IDs for this run, and then it'll show the value of the instruction pointer for each crash. After that, we've got the create crasher script. And this takes a crash ID as a parameter. And if you redirect this to a bash script file, when you run it, it's going to recreate every single crashing test case for this unique crash. So for this crash ID, you can see we've, we only saw it twice, so it comes up with two mutated crash test cases and the specific seed and range to recreate those. You might use this if you're doing crash analysis and you have a specific crash you're really interested in and you want to see if there's any differences between the crashing test cases. After that we have the minimizer plot script and this also takes a crash ID as a parameter. And this will give you a nice graph that shows the crash minimization over time. And then the last script we have is the range finder plot script and that takes the crash ID as a parameter as well. And this gives you a nice 3D graph that shows the range finder over time. If you click and hold then you can kind of move it around like this. And then you can see that it kind of started in on this range before it switched over to a more effective range later in the the run. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.